Today, a controversial program was rolled out at a school in Torrington. The program has the best of intentions meant to cut down on distractions and bullying, but parents and educators are questioning how it's been implemented. Fox 61's Matt Karen joining us live in Torrington with that story. Matt. Yeah, hi guys. We're talking about possible unintended consequences here. For a long time now, the Torrington Public Schools has had a no cell phone policy, but they say it's been very difficult to enforce. So the district is paying money for a pouch program to lock them all up. Monday was the first day of a strict phone free policy at Torrington Middle School. I'm not surprised to see that more schools are moving towards either limiting or downright banning uh, cell phones in school. Here's how it works. The district paid $60,000 to contract with Yonder, the company that supplies the school with pouches that lock magnetically. Students get to keep their phone on them but can't unlock their pouch until the end of the day. I hate it. On the whole of all students must be using this, I'm 100% against it. Parents told Fox 61 the school is cutting off access to their kids. My son got in trouble for something silly today and thankfully was able to contact me and let me know. That's because she told him to refuse to put it in the pouch. It's a digital age. Cell phones are used everywhere at every point in time and there's no taking them away anymore. Mike Mosel started an online petition that has over 600 signatures opposing the measure. He points out for safety or medical reasons, a student may need access to their phone. Schoolwork, need a calculator, need to make an appointment with guidance in case of an emergency. It's easier to get a hold of your parents on the cell phone now. The company says a survey of more than 900 schools shows 65% saw an improvement in academic performance, 74% saw better student behavior, and 83% saw more classroom engagement. Dr. Melissa Santos is a child psychologist with Connecticut Children's. They've been shown to actually get better grades on tests once we start to reduce the amount of cell phone usage they can have during school. This really reduces the amount of opportunities that kids have to be teased and bullied. Now, the school board here in Torrington approved this no cell phone program back in February. They're considering a similar program being implemented at the high school. The concern there is that there isn't enough staff available to physically distribute all of these pouches. And coming up in the news at five, you'll hear what the executive director of the Connecticut Association of Public School Superintendents has to say about this controversial policy. We're live in Torrington. Matt Karen. Fox 61 News.